Well, see ya, short shorts. Apparently, that is so last season. Bermuda shorts are in the summer. Yes, it's 2018, and we're talking Bermuda shorts. And uh, snagging a pair can help you take your style to new lengths. It's just an all how you do it. Right, Elisa Frederico? That is right, girlfriend. Okay, and you're going to show us how. Of course, she's a style director of Dressing Jane. So first of all, some people think Bermuda shorts are mom shorts. So I think people are um, crossing the terms. Mom shorts, they're referring to Bermuda shorts that way because they might seem a little matronly. Mm -hmm. But a Bermuda short is really a short that goes to the knee. A true mom short is a high rise, kind of like a little bit cheeky, but that's been around for seasons when we think of like festival dressing. Right. But Bermuda shorts is really comes from um, Bermudian suits. Like men in Bermuda wear these with their suits all the time. So it's not a new thing. It's been around for a million years. It's not just LeBron? No. Before that was, <laughs> just come on. Listen, LeBron stylist Rachel, Rachel Johnson knew what she was doing when she dressed him in that suit. And mm -hmm. I think it was a slam dunk, if you ask me my opinion, but he didn't just come up with this, Alex. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to show us how we can do it. And we're starting with you. So you have the dressy Bermuda shorts. Right. So, and again, with Bermuda shorts, it has to be to the knee or slightly above. I'm okay. showing a dress option because I want to I show that you can do it dressed up too. It's a little bit flowier. This is a great Ponzi fabric. It's really flattering, super comfortable. And what I love about it is that it keeps you cool in the summer. Okay. So a fun blouse. Nice and, and breezy. Exactly. Well, exactly. I love a good breeze in the yes. summertime. Okay, so now we're going to do the next look, and that's the boyfriend Bermuda The boyfriend. Short. So this is um, Elena, and we're showing her in the boyfriend. It's usually a little bit over uh, oversized, maybe some distressing. We put her in a really fun pop tee with a little blazer. She's super office appropriate if she works in a casual work environment, but she looks fun, and she looks put together. She does look put together. I love the pop of blue. Yeah. Very cute. Okay, the next one. Now, is it, how do you say this? The, the chino. The chino. Okay. So the when, chino Bermuda shorts. Well, when you think about the chino, think about that traditional menswear pant that you mm -hmm. see at Gap or J. Crew. Um, sometimes they come in really great bright colors. So this is a play. It's a cotton twill, again, lightweight fabric, but it's a really great, um, easy summer look. We put it um, with a striped chambray shirt. She looks sophisticated. And a, and a key to this, Alex, is always making sure that you choose the right top and that you accessorize any of your looks with these Bermuda shorts. They're hard to style because they really do cut you off in some awkward places, mm -hmm. but she looks great and super put together. Well, when you say cut you off, as a short person, I usually don't like to do anything to make me look even shorter. Would you recommend these for shorter ladies? I'm going to show you the next look is what I would recommend for okay. someone that's short. Okay, let's bring in the next one, and that's the fitted. The fitted. Yeah, so this is Stephanie, mm -hmm. and the fitted is really something that hugs the um, the thigh and the leg. It can be denim, it can be um, any of the cotton fabrics also. Again, not to be mistaken for like a biker short, obviously, mm -hmm. um, but this is super comfy. Again, if you're a little bit shorter, I would probably recommend wearing a wedge or a heel if you're doing Bermuda shorts. So that it'll long. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm learning from you. Yes, but I love this. She's doing a little Femi, really great um, summertime look. She's got her straw bag. Super accessorized, but um, she looks great. She does look great. Okay, so now uh, we have our final look here. Yeah, and this is another fitted look, but this is the funky street vibe. Just showing that you can really do fun um, blouses, but the key for this is styling your blouse a little bit differently. Tying it up, knotting it at the bottom, gives her some waist definition. If this was untucked, it'd really be cutting her off and losing the proportions, but you can see she has a little waist detail going on. Mm -hmm. um, and she's having fun with it. There's minimal distressing, but it looks really good and it looks fresh. It does look fresh. I like it. So let's see one more time all our lovely ladies in their Bermuda shorts. Come on out. <laughs> Again, the key is make sure accessorize. Make sure you look put together, your outfit is thoughtful, because this is a look that can turn um, frumpy pretty quickly. Okay. So we'll have to make sure we take these tips then. So if people have some questions or they want to get your advice, how can they reach you? They can reach me at dressingjane.com or on Instagram at dressing underscore jane. Well, thank you so much. I tell you, she can make anything look good. <laughs> I have some Bermuda shorts at home. I'm going to pull them out and see what I can do with them. Perfect. Okay? Thank you, ladies, and thank you, Elisa. We you appreciate bet. it. Okay, so the